MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Chicago Cubs. It's Cubs baseball next on The Show. Tyler Lacey is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Here's the second baseman, Colton Wong. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The second baseman, Colton Wong. Stay First there. pitch of the at bat on its way. Aye. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Dan D. Rowe, the Cubs, as they take the field here this afternoon. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Hey, First Dan, hit. first game was a blowout right there. Let's see if they can get the two game sweep. Not always easy, but when it's not three or four games, maybe we could scratch this one out. Yeah, especially when you won as big as they won the first one in this one, D Row. As soon as that first game is over, you're thinking, hey, we got a really a big chance to sweep here, particularly when it's only a two game series. One, one. Grounded back up the middle. Baez has it. Throw not oh, in time, he's so he's able to beat one out here to kick off the ball game. The mark of a great pitcher is the ability to put people away when you have two strikes on them. He wasn't able to do it to start the game. Let's see if he makes the adjustment. Batting second. So now to the plate, Justin Turner. He swings and grounds it to short. And that's into center field for another base hit. And trouble's brewing here to start the ball game. Hey, two runners on after back-to-back -back singles right there. They are in prime position to put the first run on the board right here. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's currently fourth in the National League first. RBI race the with a chance to add to that total oh. here. Yeah, and that's kind of surprising to me. I mean, he's a good hey, player, but I don't that, think huh? many pegged him as one of the best run producers in the game coming into this year. But he's having a breakout hey, year, no question face. about it. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. A fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. A ball and nope. a strike to the Cardinals' first baseman. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently Whoa, pitch him. at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Three and one now, and I think he wanted to know where that one was. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Full count, three and two. Ready with the payoff pitch. Wong at second, Turner no at first with no outs. Slapped hard the yeah, opposite yeah, way. Yeah, and that's going to yeah, get yeah, down in front of Hayward for a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Hey, have a rip. Like the kid. Nobody out here. Nobody. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Oh, 
He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's 1-2. and two. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Come on, big guy, one time. Here Needs we go. a punch out here. Can he get it? Tight spot. Base is loaded. Go. Nobody out. Ball and that's two. high for a ball. It's two one. and two. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. Let right here. Let's go. Hey, need a strikeout right here. Here Two now, nine. the 2-2. Two -two. Three two. Nice These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout oh, as an God. offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. He took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. It's come to you. So Paul DeYoung digs in next as he grounds one briskly to short. Profar for one on to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the first straight ahead. We are scoreless on the show. Stepping in, Tommy Edmond. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Pitch on the way. Runs up and gets this one down. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that hey, week, you just know you're locked the in. Tyler. They start talking eight games. Wow. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting go. streak. Here we go. Hey, double him up for you. Ground ball right here. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Ball one. Hey, attaboy. Nice guy right there. The 1 0 home is offered at and missed for the first strike. Okay, one and one. Nobody out, runner on first. A ball and two strikes, the count to Tyler Flowers. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. Two and two to the Cardinals catcher. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2 2 one more time. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Cut, cut, hold it. Hold up, hold up. Right here on the back. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. Into the box, Tyler O'Neill. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left, no chance at bringing this one back. Into the bleachers, and gone. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. Home run number nine on the year. And the Cardinals lead it now three to nothing. Boy, talk about how an inning can get away from you, right? Three-run homer already in this inning. They've yet to give up an out, and this could turn out to be one of those really ugly innings. Hey, 
batting. No. Into the box now, Jack Flaherty. Jack. Flaherty. A ball of no strikes. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Get your pitch, drive it right here. Now the 1 0. Three runs already home here. Hey, we got nobody. Swing and a little blooper to center. And he will reach down to pluck this one off his shoe tops. A fine play there for the first down. Back to the top of the order now. And that'll the bring back. up Colton Wong. Hey, Colton Wong. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. Oh, beat it out, beat and it out. And there's out number out. two. Stepping into the box, Justin Turner. He now singled his last right time up. Justin Turner. Hey, two way now. Here it comes. Boys, and get your pitch here squared up. Now, here's the pitch lifted down the line in left, and no one will track it down. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Back up the middle. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. And we take a look at the line right here, and it's not pretty. He's given up seven hits, and we're only in the second inning. So what if three things is going to happen? He's either going to buckle down and start hitting his spots. He's going to continue to get shelled, and our game is going to last about five hours. Or he's going to get the hook early and head for the showers. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. Strike called. Now the throw down. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Another look at the throw down that results in a third out on the bases. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Hey, nobody out now. Ball set for the start of the inning and set to go is the veteran first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here's the first pitch to him. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Ball inside. Be nice and patient, one at a time. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. He'll get it into second. So a good job there as he opens up the third inning with a two base hit. And you see there on the lower part of your screen, his total places him third best on this Cardinals ball club. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. Brian. So go after the first Goodwin. pitch and bounce it into foul territory. A runner at second, nobody out. Nobody down here. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Hey, get your pitch right here. Come on now. That's the ball. Good job of holding hey, nice up on the low ball there. there, and it's 1 and 2. 
Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. Checked his go? swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Put him away. You got this. A two-and-two two count. Here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. And this is run down out there in right center as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. 0 for 1 here in the early going. DeYoung. He's set and the pitch. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Hey, let it fly up there, huh? DeYoung in an 0 2 hole here. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Hey, like you can up there, huh? No one better. Working for the punch out and the offering. One, one, one. Now here's a comebacker. Found. He'll send it on Keep over out. to first, and a big out there as that keeps the runner anchored at third with two away now. Digging in the switch hitter, Tommy Edmond, oh, runner in scoring Martin. position with two gone. Tommy Edmund. Hey, let her rip, let her Ready rip. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two, two, two. Hard hit ball to second. Two, two, and that's two. through into right field for a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. Well, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, Dero. You think you make a decent pitch, ball hit to the hole right through there. You're hoping it can get knocked down. Instead, base hit, run batted in. Yeah, and as the batter right there, you're taking off your batting gloves, giving dabs yeah, to the yeah. first base coach. Glad that that no, found the hole right there. Ribeye steak, chalk one up. Tyler Flowers oh, is the batter now as he looks at a bowl of 1-0. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Two out with the hey, man at on, first. Man. Here we go. There, huh? And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And that's a fair ball heading out toward the 353 sign on the Ivy. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Hey, now, Larry. Now batting, the left fielder. Stepping Tyler. in now, Tyler O'Neill, hey. as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. But facing right-handed pitching so far this season, O'Neill brings a batting average in the low 220s to the table. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. I see you drive it. Let's go, big dog. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Hey, your pitch, your pitch. He's coming to you. The one-two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Cards forced to settle for one. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Cards lead it four to nothing. Welcome back as the Cubs look to get their bats going here in the third inning. And you can say they've been trying to do that pretty much all year. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively, but first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game. And the stats do back that up, as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts, so that appears to be an area of emphasis. So stepping in, Tyler Lacey, as he'll get his Tyler. first opportunity in this one. Lacey. Hey, get ahead right here. And the pitch. Aye. Fastball on the first pitch, and it's taken for strike one. Aye. 
Here's one, a little one, one. chopper up the middle. Throw on to first, oh, gets him, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. set for the start of the fourth and the pitcher digs in next it'll be Jack Flaherty Jack Flaherty hey come on now let's go first pitch of the at bat hey well it's been a rough one so far four runs through three innings it's about time to get that pitch count down or he won't be out here very long hey I need you right here one time Right one, side. One. Beat it out. Beat it Handle out. Beat it out. On first himself for the out. All right. So time now for the Cubs road to the show report as we see a couple of prospects who have been performing at a high level in the upper minors. Now bad. Colton Wong will stand in. Colton. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. Oh, throw will not be in time at first. A good effort that time, but not enough to prevent them from getting a one out base runner. There we got one. Now batting. The Standing right in now, Justin Action. Turner. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0 and 1. Hey, take a rip like you can. Has a you look. Go, now the pitch. Popped him up. Baez is calling for it. I got it. I and got he it. brings it in for the second out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Paul now Goldschmidt. Batting. He'll try to the follow up the double in his last at bat with Goldschmidt. another big hit right here. here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. It, Maybe once in A-B. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. One left for the Cardinals, but they're in front four to nothing. Nobody here, nobody. New inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Brian Goodwin. Brian. Let's go, kid. One time Goodwin. right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Hey, get you a good one up there, huh? In the air now, out to right field. Hayward on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Digging in now, Paul DeYoung. He was a ground out victim last time up. Paul DeYoung. Here's the first pitch to him. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Four runs, 11 hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now the pitch. Line drive to left. Schwarber is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. Digging in and looking for more, Tommy Edmond. He came now through with an RBI second. single in his last at bat. Tommy Edmund. First pitch of the at bat. Ah. Hey, 
yards up there. Here's the 0-1. Ball. Come on, let it fly right here. Line drive to center field. Nice that gets down, and ball. he's got Two. himself a base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll he get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Down in order go the Cardinals as they hold on to a 4-1 to one lead. Nico Horner will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number two. Nico Horner. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Six to two, the final total today. The Redbirds took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jack Flaherty earns his eighth victory of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon.